Hey everybody, it's Sean with The Good Dog, and we've got Mr. Ernie here. And so we are moving on in our how-to series. Now we are going to do thresholds with just prong collar. So we've done prong collar introduction. We've done place command on prong collar. Now we're gonna do thresholds, and then we'll move into the walk. So first things first, he's been properly introduced. I have a good feel for how sensitive he is, how insensitive he is, how drive he is. I have a, a lot of information about how he is in general, so I know how to best approach him. And like I always say, if you can't get a good threshold happening, your walk is most likely going to be a disaster. So first things first, this is where we set the tone. This is where we get the dog into the right frame of mind. This is where we let them know we're going to do a walk in a certain kind of way. There's going to be rules, there's going to be accountability, and you also want to bring the arousal down, bring the excitement down, try and get the dog into the most clear, calm as possible, chilled out state of mind so you've got the best chance of success when you head out the door. But do not let a dog drag you out the door and then try and make a nice, air quotes, a nice heel happen because you most likely won't be able to do that because you're taking a wild beast out the door. So I don't know how this is gonna look. Um, he's, a, he's a different guy than Ozzy, so it's kind of cool. We're getting to see different dogs and we'll, we'll continue to keep adding more and more dogs to this so you can kind of see how we work through it how much pressure they need, how they react differently, and hopefully your dog looks something like one of the dogs that we show, and, and hopefully it's helpful. So let's see what we got. Um, I've got a 2.25 on him, and um, he's a guy who's got a bite history, so we are, uh, you know, I'm, I'm careful with him. Um, you see, I feel comfortable actually, like, adjusting his prong collar and moving it up a bit. He's not a perfect fit, so it's sliding down a, a, a bit. But he does have a bite history, and it's typically when he's overly amped. So my goal is to keep him not so amped. And uh, so what I'm going to try and do with this threshold exercise is because it's like the initial um, threshold exercise, I'm going to kind of work up to it. Now, I could walk right up and then just nail him for moving out the door because I have practiced lots of Handler stops, dog stops, handler stops, dog stops. And so you saw that with place command, but it's a different story when you got a door and you've got a dog that knows like that door means, ah, we're going outside. So what I wanna do is I wanna be a little slower in that process. And I think it'll be better for you guys if you see just kind of a, a slow kind of uh, raising the level of pressure as necessary for, uh, for the dog so we can get him into the best space without having to use too much pressure or blowing his mind, overwhelming him or anything like that. So that's kind of it. And I'm just making sure my mic's on, okay. For, for a second I got panicked and I was like, oh, there's no mic, uh, but we're good. So let's see how Ernie does with this. All right, so we've got control of the dog. Walk up, pressure, move back, let's go. So he tried to move past me. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a better observation from his standpoint of the threshold and more self-control, more impulse control. Let's go. Much better. We'll do it again. Let's go. I'm gonna walk up pretty speedily now. See a little leash pressure there to stop him. Let's go. Once again, his nose is his worst enemy or his best friend, depending on who you're asking. Anyways, so a little bit of leash pressure there. Not a big firm pop, but it was enough, right? You're looking for just that sweet spot, just that right fit to get him into, the, into a good space to where he actually cares. And he's doing pretty good. So I'm going to go with this and we're going to move out of here. And I'm going to use let's go, which is our not heel command. It's because we're going down the stairs and I'm going to have to turn and lock the door. Let's go is kind of our loose leash. Move with us. Behave yourself and don't be crazy. Let's go. Bring him right here. So a little bit of leash pressure because he's trying to just kind of wander.
Okay.